All right, we're gonna do a quick video on uh, rebuilding, cleaning, um, just overall maintenance on these uh, VU4 uh, valve blocks uh, assemblies. Um, they are pretty simple. You just gotta take your time um, to take them apart and uh, check things out. If you have a, a valve sticking um, open in the dump position or in the fill position, fill valve sticking open, it's, it's slowly inflating, um, then, um, then you'll want to do this. Um, these should all be hand tight on the top, the nuts. Just take them off, remove all the nuts from the, uh, from the valve block. Once that's out of the way, um, you're going to want to slowly wiggle the top. This top section will come off. Um, the rubber and everything. Try to make it as even as possible when you when you lift it up, so that it uh, doesn't bind anything up. The valves, um, the coil packs don't bind up. Here. There's the coils. Once that's removed, um, this casting here has these bobbers screwed into it. Um, they're not too tight. Usually they're keyed so that it can be um, turned on and turned off at the factory. Um, you don't need the key necessarily, just a, a decent uh, turn. Try not to score it up too much. A decent turn will loosen it up and they're all pretty loose. I mean, I haven't messed with this one and this is just a nice firm grab and pretty much twist them all off if you wanted to, just to check them all out. Some are looser than others, but you get the picture. Um, so what you're going to want to do is um, unscrew them. There will be a spring and a bobber in here, and then the, uh, the surface that it's going to be seating against. You'll want to clean that area inside of there, um, the seated surface there, the seating surface inside, clean that out, um, as well as check the surface of this. Make sure it's not horribly scored or there's any oils or debris on that. Um, then you're going to want to reassemble it, put it back together. Same way you took it apart. Screw this down. Um, doesn't have to be too tight. And uh, that's about it for this valve assembly. When you put this back on, when you put this uh, assembly back together, make sure you got it in the right, correct position, first of all. Um, you know, it's got to be in, in a certain position with, with what we're getting on our new one. So, in, exhaust is to the right, so we need to make sure we're putting it on the same way. Um, also, on the back side here. You'll see there's sleeves around, metal sleeves around these coil packs. Um, the sleeves have a indentation cut in them. Make sure that indentation is pointing towards the wire. It doesn't wrap around and cut that wire when you seat everything down. Um, that's a big deal. You don't want to short any of your valve packs out. So, aside from that, um, Line everything back up here. And then start to uh, slide it back down. All right. And that's it. Shouldn't have to do that much after the initial installation, um, but I've seen a lot of different debris get caught in these things. Um, gloves, uh, rubber gloves. Uh, plumber's tape, get too much of that, you know, pneumatic uh, thread sealer goo in there and that becomes a problem as well. So there you go.